Good afternoon, everybody. Today is May 29th, 2020. We're doing our weekly COVID update. Uh, again, I'm Scott McGann with the Falmouth Health Department. Uh, our uh, website is uh, falmouthmass.us. Uh, our email box is health at falmouthma.gov. And our phone number is 508 495 7485. And uh, we'll do our best to get back to you as quickly as we can. Uh, a little bit about our cases um, there's about 180 cases. Uh, since March 1st, approximately 84 of the total number of cases are no longer in isolation. So that's 151 uh, of about 180 cases. About 93 of all non-term, uh, non-long-term care cases are out of isolation, about 136 out of 147. So um, Falmouth has approximately 13.8 of all cases in Barnstable. Um, the peak, again, with early April uh, was 23. 14 would be roughly what we expect. Uh, based on our population. Uh, the VNA continues to, uh, in the health department, uh, doing the contact tracing, um, as always. So that's where we're at. Um, in terms of our case trend, you can see that it's down. Um, the cases uh, across the state have been down. We'll cover that in a second. Um, the peak that you, the, the blip that you saw, right, that you see in this chart from about uh, mid-May mid was a result of long-term care. Um, the, the trend for non-long-term care has been trending downward ever since our peak around uh, the end of March, uh, early April. Um, cases uh, since the beginning of the outbreak, you can see that there's been a leveling off again early April. We, we went up hard, fast at the end of March, early April, and we've been leveling off ever since. So that's where we're at. Um, as far as the state's website, um, the two days prior to this, we were right around four or 500 cases for a few days prior, we're up to 675. Um, some of the reasons might be that um, I know there's some uh, funding from the state, from what I've been told, for long-term care if they meet a certain amount of testing. So there's been a lot of testing, especially in that area, which has generally been the harder hit areas. So that might be a reason why we have a few extra cases. Uh, newly reported deaths have been under 100 for several days. We're at 93 yesterday. Confirmed cases at just under 95,000. Uh, total tests, is, tests performed, 560,000. Um, each week, this is uh, this metric gets uh, updated uh, with the green, uh, yellow, and red. And as we go through our phases, phase one, phase two, all the way to phase four, these trends uh, have to stay uh, in a positive direction. And so, um, you know, we just as you go on the website, uh, the state's website, every day after four o'clock, this gets updated. And um, you know, I think they do the. The positive, the trend uh, of, on a weekly basis, but the counts will definitely be done on a daily basis. Some of the major indicators, like I've told you since, if you've watched any of these before, that the hospitalization rate's a real easy one to look at. Um, it's been um, down on a downward trend. It's sort of leveled off. As you can see, it's down 41%, uh, but it's somewhat leveled off, uh, the hospitalizations, uh, not as quickly down as it was earlier in the month. Uh, surge capacity, we've been staying between 9 and 8. We went out back up to 9, so there must be a hot spot somewhere that needed surge capacity at a hospital. Uh, the death trend is still continuing downward. You see where it's, you know, as of mid-May, it was around 100. Now it's down to around 54 on May 25th. It's a 65% decline. And the three, the seven-day average of positive test rates um, is down around that 8% range. So. The trend is still downward. Um, it's leveled off a little bit, but it's still on a downward trend. Uh, by county, you can see that Barnstable County's got 1,295 cases. Uh, it's really leveled off in the last uh, week or so. Uh, we're not getting a lot, uh, a lot of positives. There's been 115 deaths, uh, which is sad. Um, uh, Barnstable, as a county, is definitely um, leveled off, especially over the last week or so. Uh, as far as how Falmouth and the county and Massachusetts are, are per population, are, the cases are, um, if you look at May 20th and May 27th, so in one week, um, there's been about an 80 per 100,000 increase in the state. The county's had about a 40, and we've had a, roughly about a 30 increase. So slight increases, I mean, this is only based on the number of cases at the start, so this number will only go up. Uh, but essentially, uh, we're still going up slower than the state and slightly less than the county week to week. Um, off the state's website, every week they post the number of cases per town. If you pull that off, uh, we pull, I pulled this off um, on Wednesday. They do it every Wednesday. 
Um, so on Wednesday, our count was 178. Our rate per 100,000 was 569. The total number of uh, persons tested in Falmouth was 2,057. Our tested rate is 6,500 per 100,000. Our percent positivity was 8.7%. Uh, Compared to the state of uh, 94,000 at the time uh, positives, their rate was, uh, the state's rate is 1,352 per 100,000. So our rate is somewhere almost a third. We were two and a half times less. Uh, the total number of tests in 552,000, uh, which is 70,925 per 100,000. And the percent positivity for the state is 17%. So we, we tested a little bit less in Falmouth because we haven't, there hasn't been you know, quite a spike as is seen in other communities. Um, and our, our percent positive is lower than the state's average. Um, you can also get on the website from the state every day. Uh, this one's on the weekly one, is the uh, count of confirmed cases by city and town. There's a couple of different ways they show it. Uh, we're at the between 101 and 250 per, um, per town in the town. And you can see where some of the towns adjust upward and downward from there. Um, so this will change, and you can get this on the website at any point, the state's website. Uh, this is, the, again, the hospitalization number I like to show. Uh, you can see there's been a downward trend now since uh, for the most for just about the whole for the whole month. Um, you do see a little bit of leveling out. I circled in red. It does show it flattening out. You just want to keep that numbers. You want to see those big minus numbers. Um, hopefully today we don't see another plus number. Um, hopefully we continue to see a downward trend. But um, uh, there's been slight leveling off over the couple couple days, and um, I just wanted to point that out. So we want to keep seeing that negative number on this uh, hospitalization chart. Again, about 2,112 currently hospitalized with 529 in the ICU. Uh, Long-term care. Uh, Long-term care testing is about 21.7% of all positives was in the long-term care. We're hitting, the state's really trying to test that hard. Um, actually, the, our, at, when I talk about where we test over at four C's, um, you'll see that there's been an increase, uh, there's been an increase in the number of tests and it's because we're really trying to test these, uh, the long-term care facilities hard. So that number will increase because the more we're testing in that area. In terms of deaths, it's been roughly around 60 to 62% of all deaths in the state has been uh, in long-term care. I've given you the information, it's updated weekly. So now the, on the dashboard, you'll see a weekly summary where they move the long-term care facilities out of the daily summary because they were only updating it on a weekly basis over to the weekly update where you see um, the Royal, uh, both Royals and the JML uh, cases, um, and now they've included deaths um, on that chart every week because there's been a high demand for to, to know, and the state has started to provide that. And so you can see that there. Um, as far as hospitalizations in Barnstable County, um, the numbers staying around, um, you know, th as of the 27th was uh, 14 between the two with eight in the ICU, and that number does go up and down, um, but it's, uh, it's definitely down from um, the late April number and the, uh, the mid to late April number. So you just want to keep seeing those trends go down. And you can see from 526 to 527, the number of cases was only six. So sometimes we have really good days as well. Um, again, the testing continues to sort of status quo, uh, continues to the Cape Cod Community College. It's a drive-through, Monday through Saturday, 9 to 5. You got a physician's note. Um, if you're in long-term care, you may be just uh, circumventing the, the, the physicians, uh, and you'll get it through your, um, your employer. But um, there's, there's enough tests around if you need to be tested. I think it's uh, you know, something you can pursue as far as if you're feeling symptoms, get tested. So, so again, uh, getting off that and talking about reopening, the phase one reopening is in process. Uh, we're past May 25th. So car washes, exterior, pet grooming, hair salons by appointment, office buildings, laboratories, uh, curbside pickup on retail, um, and certain health and other healthcare providers, uh, pediatricians and so forth. Uh, they're all on the May 25th. And as long as they go into this, uh, follow the uh, protocols and uh, self, self um, do this on their own, they can, um, they can open and they have to follow these procedures and guidelines that are specific for each one of their, uh, what we call sectors, the state calls sectors. Um, you know, we've received a lot of calls at the health department helping people guide through it. If you have questions, you can give us a call. We'll do the best to go through the data, if you, uh, through, the, uh, through your protocols. 
Uh, I have to say I don't have every single one of them memorized. There's a lot of overlap, so it's not going to be, you know, so if we need help, you can just give us a call at the health department. Um, so that's where we're at in terms of um, phase one. And again, all that data that we have up top is what we're going to be using to see whether we can go to phase two. Um, phase two, no earlier than June 8th, although I did hear that there may be something coming down the pike next week, so next week you might want to listen to the governor's announcements. Maybe he's going to give us some more information. I don't have anything other than, you know, I don't get anything uh, too much earlier than the, the public does, so it's not like I know things way ahead of time. Um, I wish I knew a little bit more ahead of time so we could plan at the health department, but we don't. So no earlier than June 8th, hotels, motels, short-term rentals, some dine-in restaurants, nail salons, and other personal care that aren't the ones that are allowed uh, in phase one, such as hair salons, recreational day camps, some types of youth, youth, some types of youth sports, library access. Okay, and Then we move over to phase three, would be movie theaters, gyms, museums, bars, concert halls, whale watching, you know, phase four gets more into the uh, nursing facilities and gets into more the, um, the large, large venues like Gillette or Fenway. And there's always usually a minimum of three weeks between phases because you have to see what's going on. Once you go to phase two, you want to know if the data, the, you know, the, the, all the stuff I showed you in the previous slides and the dashboard is continuing on a downward trend before you go to phase three. And that's why there's a minimum of three weeks between phases because it takes a while uh, for the disease to incubate. It's got a long incubation period and it takes a while to collect all that and figure out what's going on. So there's a minimum of three weeks between phases. Uh, quickly, again, I had this slide up last week. The beaches are open at 50% capacity. Started last week. Um, there'll be some signs, social distancing, staying six feet apart. Uh, we just ask that everybody follows that and so we don't have any issues. I find outdoors to be a very safe uh, thing to do personally. So I think, um, you know, nice days can go to the beach. Uh, beach stickers, uh, we, we encourage by mail. Um, starting on Tuesday the 26th, they, uh, they will be sold at the bathhouse, uh, but you can also do it by mail. And they're not going to be required until June 20th. As a review, the state metrics are continuing on a downward trajectory, though it seemed to flatten out a little bit this week. We'll keep an eye on it. Uh, Falmouth and the Cape cases are low right now. Hopefully that maintains it, especially as we start um, having a lot of visitors and so forth. We just hopefully that stays low. Slow reopening again in four phases. We're in a phase one and a minimum of three weeks, and our beaching parking lots are open. So that's what I have. Um, you know, it's very similar to the last week's. Hopefully we continue it next week. If I when we do this, um, I can say that the data is still good. So um, that's where we're at, and um, I'll see you guys all next week.